Welcome to our lecture online. Here we have an example where the problems on the JE main test can be a little bit tricky and you have to be very careful or you'll get the wrong answer. Well, you think you got the right answer, but it will be wrong. So here's an example dealing with resonant tubes. A student is performing the experiment of resonance column. The diameter of the column tube is 6 centimeters. The frequency of the tuning fork is 504 hertz. The speed of sound at the given temperature is 336 meters per second. The zero of the meter scale coincides with the top end of the resonance tube. The reading of the water level in the column when first resonance occurs is... And we have four possible answers. So, why did I say that this could be somewhat tricky? Well, when we're dealing with resonance tubes, well, let me illustrate. You can deal with, you can have two specific situations. So, here we have two tubes. And when we're dealing with first resonance, then the, the uh, wave inside the tube will either look like this, or it will look like this. so that a quarter wavelength goes from the top of the tube to the bottom of the tube or the quarter wavelength goes a little bit beyond the top of the tube and that extra portion right here is approximately equal to 0.3 times the diameter of the tube now they did give us a diameter and so maybe that implies that we should look at the situation like this instead of the situation like that. But most textbooks tend to ignore that. I mean, they may mention it, but we typically look at first resonance looking like that, where the quarter wavelength stops at the very top of the tube instead of 0.3 times the diameter above the tube. So, since they gave us the diameter, we're going to assume the situation on the right. Which means that if we call this the length of the tube, and this here is 0.3 times the diameter, we could then say that the length of the tube plus 0.3 times the diameter must equal one quarter of the wavelength. All right, now what's the length of the wave here in this particular case? Well, with waves, we know that the velocity equals the frequency times the wavelength. And so therefore, the wavelength equals the velocity divided by the frequency and the velocity of sound and air is 336 meters per second, and we divide it by the frequency, which is 504. Now, at first you may say, well, I'll have a calculator, how do I deal with this? But it turns out that this is in the ratio of exactly, I believe, 2 to 3. Well, let's take a look. If we take half of this, this would be equal to 2 times uh, 168 and divide this by 3 times 168 because you double 168 you get indeed 336 you multiply 168 by 3 you do indeed get 504 so they took the numbers just right so we have a very nice ratio of 2 to 3 and that would be the wavelength so the wavelength is 66.7 centimeters lambda equals 66.7 centimeters and therefore lambda divided by 4 is equal to one quarter of that and uh, well let's see here that would be equal to uh, one point or 16.7 i guess uh, half of that is 33 half of that is 16.7 so 16.7 centimeters for lambda over four so that goes in there so we have l plus 0.3 d is equal to a quarter wavelength which is 16.7 centimeters which means the length of the tube is equal to 16.7 centimeters minus 0 0.3 times d in other words the answer for the length of the tube must be less than 16.7 and that means that d is not a possible answer and i believe that c probably wouldn't be a possible answer either because it's too close to 16.7 all right and turns out that notice if you don't take this into account the length would be equal to that, so that would be the answer chosen if you ignored this additional uh, distance there. So it's either A or B. We've cut it down to half of the possible answers. So let's plug in what 0.3D is. 0.3 times D, D is equal to 6 centimeters, 6 centimeters, which is 1.8 centimeters. 
So that means that the length of the tube is equal to 16.7 centimeters minus 1.8 centimeters, which gives us 14.9 centimeters. All right, what's the possible answer? Well, the one that's definitely closest to 14.9 is 14.8. So this is the correct answer. That would be the wrong answer as well. And does it bother us that we got 14.9 instead of 14.8? Well, since you can call this 16.6 .6 or 16.7, we're close enough. And that is how it's done. Is that a wrap for tonight? All right.